Like, it doesn't taste like earwax, but it's literally all that I can think about when I'm eating this. And I've tasted earwax, I know what it tastes like, okay? Hey guys, what up, what up? So I'm in New York City, and it is pissing out rain today. So what I decided to do is a vegan taste test. There's this market that's like right down the road, and it's called a matter of health and I went in there and it was like huh ah. they have so much stuff but I didn't want to do a taste test that was like all good stuff because that's boring so I literally got like some of the nastiest stuff it was hard to decide and any time that I would like look at something and cringe I was like, that's probably gonna be a good thing to taste test. So like Stella Ray would say, you know this is gonna be lit. Let's get started. All right, I don't even know where to start because <laughs> I got so much stuff. But let's start with breakfast. So I got this Tofurky quiche and it doesn't look very good, does it? It's the sausage and veggie one and I don't know, I'm just not like a big fan of the egg substitutes. They're not really up my alley. I've never found one that's good. So I don't know how this is gonna go. So this is what it looks like. Actually, it isn't that bad. I'm kind of feeling it. Like, I could never eat a whole one of these, but a couple bites, it's pretty good. The texture is like kind of nasty though. All right, so the next thing I got was this vegan tuna. Now, I actually did like tuna when I was not vegan. I always like to make cold tuna salads with like mayo and black pepper and celery and all that kind of stuff. Tuna sandwiches were pretty legit too, but <laughs> I really don't think I'm gonna like this, you guys. How do you work this thing? I literally had to go watch a YouTube video how to use this freaking can opener. This is like a Kuhn Recon can opener. I don't know if you guys have one of these, but it's actually pretty legit how it works. Anyways, I'm back. <laughs> Oh my god. This stuff literally looks like cat food. <laughs> it smells so nasty, you guys. <laughs> like, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to eat this. <laughs> Not really that bad. Like, it's so salty. It feels like it's more like a ground beef or something. There's no tuna flavor at all in this. There's so much more nasty stuff here. <laughs> so the next thing that I have is this Miyoko's Creamery Sharp Cheddar Cheese. I got this because honestly it looks nasty. It looks like earwax. And it smells, I hate smoked stuff. Anything that's smoked, it just reminds me of salmon because my dad used to always like make smoked salmon. Oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, no, why do you do this to me? Uh, like, it doesn't taste like earwax, but it's literally all that I can think about when I'm eating this. And I've tasted earwax, I know what it tastes like, okay? Between the tuna and the freaking cheese, I need to like wash that stuff down. So the next thing that I have is this rice whip. And it's just a vegan rice whipped cream. I can't look at the ingredients in this stuff or else it just ruins it for me. The flow isn't very good. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 
No. This stuff is nasty. It's not very fluffy either. <laughs> this just keeps getting worse, you guys. The next thing that I got was this Hillary's World's Best Veggie Burger. And I got it not because it looked nasty, but just because like, if you're gonna make claims like you got the world's best veggie burger, like this shit better be good, right? It looks like a chicken patty, like, it does not look like a veggie burger. It just, it doesn't smell good either. It literally tastes like salty corn flakes um i don't even know what did you even make this out of this is terrible this is the worst veggie burger i've ever had in my life like this doesn't even taste like a burger it just tastes like i don't even know it does not taste good i got this diet cheesy mac because it just looks so fake you guys like the fake red peppers and peas like i hate dehydrated veggies like that and it comes with this packet of just cheese sauce that you dump in. I should have filmed myself making it because it looks so nasty. But it just kind of like falls in there in this big gloop. Like it's creamy looking. <laughs> we'll get a big bite. Mmm, that's actually really good. Mm-hmm. This is legit. I like that. This is not healthy though, but <laughs> this whole thing has 900 calories and 27 grams of fat. It's fucking good though. I got these Tofurky deli slices. I've never, ever, ever had vegan deli slices. My camera died. Anyways, we have this, the Tofurky deli slice. I think it's only fair to like eat this plain. Cause when I used to really like turkey, I would just sit and eat it plain. This is like back in my low carb days when I was fat and binged all the time. I don't know what to think about this. It does taste kind of like turkey. Like I'm not gonna lie. It has the flavor, but it has more of the texture of like rubber. So the next thing that I got was this Guardian Meatless Meatloaf. I'm not a fan of fake meats, you guys. Like, if you know me, I don't eat fake meats. I don't like fake meats. So that's why most of this is fake meats because this stuff just makes me like cringe. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. this is like a freaking 15. So when I was a kid, one of my favorite foods, this is really weird and gross, but was the Salisbury steak that you would get like from the Swanson packets or like the stuff that you'd get on the plane was the best stuff ever. It was like my favorite meal in the world was eating this like Salisbury steak. That's what this reminds me of. So another thing that I got is these porkless bites. <laughs> these look so nasty. This is like, you know, the pork, the sweet and sour pork that you get from an Asian place because, I mean, that stuff doesn't really even taste like pork anyway. This is not my thing though. All right, so the last thing that I got, you guys might be like, oh, that's not really that gross, but I kind of think it was. So it's this oatmeal fruit squeeze. Who puts oatmeal in a pouch like this, you know? Like it's kind of genius, but it's kind of disgusting at the same time. Mm. I think it's just kind of weird like sucking this out of a pouch. If I was going on a long bike ride or going up Mount Lemon though, I would totally bring this over a fruit pouch just because I know how much more like starches sustain me over time than fruit does. Like I would, I'd bring this with me. And you wouldn't even have to get off the bike either. You could just twist it and suck it and keep going. All right guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this nasty vegan food taste test. If you guys want me to do more in the future, give this video a thumbs up. Um, maybe I could do one with Derek because I feel like they're always funnier with Derek. But things that I would buy again that totally surprised me were this diet 
um, Cheesy Mac. I would totally buy this any day of the week and eat it. It was so good. And this Meatless Meatloaf by Gardein. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. This is probably going to be something that I keep in the apartment from now on. Like, this is so good to me. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love it. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon.